Well, you know, we, we got off to obviously got off to a good start. I thought the guys did a nice job of sharing the ball. Uh, we, we did have some things that um, we, we emphasized after Friday's night, after, after Friday night's game that we have to get better and continue to get better. But I thought for the most part that it's good to see some balance and to get some of the younger guys some minutes, especially. You were harping about energy last week. It looked like it was there tonight. We had much better energy tonight than we did last Friday. I, that, that was the biggest disappointment that we had. It was. You know, I know we've been a bit of a grind, but our, our energy level the last couple of days, especially last night in practice, was better than, than our energy level today in practice. And the shoot around in today was much better. Reggie's uh, had the little nagging foot problem while he hadn't been playing more. He, he kind of broke out tonight. He looks like he's in the, in the rhythm. He's been banged up. I mean, he was banged up at the end of the part of last year. He's been banged up a little bit this year. We missed some practice and hasn't really gotten into the rhythm yet. And hopefully this will help get, get back in rhythm. How did it feel tonight, Reggie? Uh, it felt good. Uh, just... Went out there, did what Coach asked, uh, tried to get the win, and we succeeded at that. So, Reggie, you keeping the flow pretty well? Uh, yeah. Just Reggie. trying to uh, get others involved. Reggie, what's it like coming off the bench and just kind of being that spark plug? Because it looks like you have so much energy when you come into the game. Uh, honestly, it's, I mean, that's that's my job, that's my role, so it uh, feels good, I guess. <laughs> uh, just, trying, just trying to get the win at the end of the day, honestly. So, whatever it takes. And Meech, uh, I know you were really, really ready to get contributing on the offensive side of things. I know you've been a little down on yourself about that. You really broke out tonight. How did you feel out there, and was this a really good thing for you? Um, yeah, it felt good. Um, it was really good just to, you know, actually be able to score the ball. Mm -hmm. But being down on myself, I haven't been down on myself about my offense at all. I mean, we all know that I'm a defensive player, and that's what I that's what I aim to do is just be the best I can be on defense and work on offense later. Christian and uh, and you wanted Christian and, and uh, Rayshon to get some some good time tonight in, especially Christian was able to do that. Yeah, it was good. I mean, it, it's Christian it's, Christian hasn't done anything wrong. It's just the problem for him right now is we haven't had a chance to give him some minutes. And you know, when you're playing games we've been playing. We don't have time, you know, if you don't trust him completely yet, which we don't want those young guys, you don't want to put them in situations where they can't be successful. I think he's going to be a really good player. He's just got to figure some things out and he needs repetitions and hopefully tonight with some repetition. Joe, what do you learn from your ball club in a, in a game like this where you obviously have an overmatched opponent coming in to your home court? Well, I think you're able to see if they're going to play the right way. And we talked about our defensive intensity. Now we gave up too many points in the paint. And I think there were some things obviously we need to improve upon. And at this time of the year, I think it was good to get everybody to see some different lineups and to get some different rotations and to give some of those other guys some minutes that they haven't been able to get. I think it's all part of, uh, of growing as a team. Speaking of different rotations, what's your ideal starting lineup? Because I know that you've kind of mixed and matched, uh, minus you know maybe two or three players all the way. Well, I mean, we'll see how, how that all sorts out. I mean, we, we haven't had, I, mean, I think tomorrow, we just talked about a lot, tomorrow will be the first day we've had everybody for practice for all year. I mean, so you know, when we started the season, Trey was out, and we've had different guys out. Ricky's been out, and Meech missed a couple of days, and Reggie's been hurt, and Zach obviously been a little dang, uh, being banged up, and you know, we got Mark Eddie. So it'd be nice to see 13 scholarship and the walk-on guys out there, and I, I think we can get a better, a little bit better feel of who we are and what we're going to be as we, as we get in practice. Zach didn't play anywhere in this game. Uh, what is his status, and I guess what's he uh, going through? It, it, I mean, if it, we could have played him, but it was more preventative deal. It was. There's no sense. I mean, he's a little dinged up, and an extra day or two of rest we thought would help him. And uh, you know, we'll, we might practice him tomorrow. Might not. We'll see how he feels tomorrow. But we'll have him on, on Friday and Saturday to practice or play on Sunday. Where was Ricky tonight? Is he everything? In class. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Class. Okay. Yeah, I said, hey, we go to class. That's why. Right. Right. Our APR is so good. By the way, all those points you gave up in the paint tonight, there were 18 of them. Uh, <laughs> I know. Uh, Georgia Southern, three and three, uh, very tight game at North Carolina State. They got this. Uh, they got this Smith kid that can barely like twenty-two light. a game. And Tukey Brown was preseason, you know, one of the players, the uh, preseason All League player. Uh, put up a lot of points, play a lot of different defenses. Uh, predicted second in their conference. I mean, I think they, uh, you know, they had a tough loss to Mercer, but they bounced back and beat Radford the other night. I think they played them all night or Thursday night. Uh, yeah. So we we got some time to look and watching a little bit of their deal and. Very good team. They're very young too. They're, they're, they've got a lot of young guys in the rotation. I think they're, we're going to have our hands full. It's important to follow this up, isn't it, Meach? Oh, yeah. Go on, on sure. Friday night or Sunday. 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 Sunday, right? Sunday yeah. Yeah. Uh, Reggie, you got several days before that. It's uh, again, it's important to follow this up with a with win at Georgia Southern. Right? Oh, for sure. Yeah, every game's important. So, yeah.
every game's important and uh, it's good for a follow up, of course. Do you know anything about Georgia Southern yet? Uh, other than what Coach already said about the two players and the different uh, defenses they play. So. Reggie, what is it like being able to face a team where normally you only face a team twice a year during conference play and you're going to be facing Georgia Southern not only at their place but then what here about a week, a week and a half later or so? Um, I think it would be good for us, um, of course, uh, just getting the feel of hopefully being uh, both times, uh, redeem ourselves, just getting back in the flow of things. And you said you're normally a defensive player, Meech, so where would you kind of rank your defense right now uh, on a scale of, say, 1 to 10? One to ten. As, as a team. As team a defense. Team? Mm -hmm. uh, that's a hard question. I would say it's like 7 right now. Why is that? <laughs> <laughs> you knew you couldn't wait with that answer. <laughs> seven. Is, is that is that before or after Joe comes to you saying, "Are you kidding?" This is a We'll we'll watch the tape tomorrow, and then you can get it. Ask him now. It's a seven tomorrow. About now four thirty. It'd be about one and a half. <laughs> Uh, but, but in all seriousness, Joe, I mean, how, how, much, how many steps do you need to take to be able to get to the place where you need no, to I mean, get to? to, to where, and, but, every, but it's early in the season. I mean, there are some things. We're giving up too many downhill drives, and we've got to tighten up our ball screen defense. But you watch games throughout the country. Everybody is right now. No one's in their defensive uh, rhythm yet. And it's amazing to me because you look at the scores, not just ours. It seems like the scores have all gone up. Mm -hmm. And right now, defenses aren't as good. Now, players are getting better. The rules have changed. You know, you can't chuck cutters. You can't. You know, you can't do a lot of things. But uh, we, we need to guard the ball better. We need to get our ball screen defense tightened up. Did Brent, have, go ahead. Did have uh, 12 steals on 20 turnovers. Uh, we're averaging 5.6 steals per 100 possessions coming into this. Is this more what you want to see on defense with your guards being a little more aggressive in the lanes? We've got to be more aggressive, higher on the floor. We, we've talked about it. We have done a good job being in, in position. We haven't done a good job of rotating the steal. We rotate to help, we don't rotate to steal. And we're there, we've got to make those steals. Now, those are things we talk about. I think we were 3 311 or 312 in, in, in percentage of steals, uh, nationally out of 351 or whatever it is, 353 now. Uh, that, that number needs to, to, to drastically come down. And the other things that I'm trying to explain, we try to talk about this, it, it translates into offense. If we need to steal it, we can play faster. Yeah, also got. 38 points off turnovers tonight, so that's Those this is this is more of the pace that you want to see your guys play. And, and I mean, I thought we did another, another good job of pitching ahead. There was four or five instances where we threw the ball ahead, uh, not necessarily you score, but at least if you get the defense flat or have them have them run back, now you can do some different things. What kind of a luxury does it have? Is it to have a, a player like Brandon Goodwin? I know he had to sit out last year, but you can kind of see his offense right now is just really clicking. <coughs> I mean, he's a really good player, and we. we I, Reggie would probably attest to this, and so would Zach. He probably helped our season as much as anything last year because he taught the point guards how to play and compete every day. Because he doesn't take any, he doesn't take off. He loves to play. Uh, he loves to be out there. I mean, you know, he, he kept telling me the last ten minutes he was okay. Uh, so I know you're okay. I mean, he, he wants to play all the time. He likes to practice, likes to compete, and I, I think he can be a good change of pace guy. You know, he really changes the tempo of the game at times. Kind of jumping on that, Reggie. How much did you learn from from Brandon last year, and, and how much is are you kind of taking that in this year? Uh, I learned a lot, just the experience and uh, him being a veteran, talking to us, uh, just the pace he does, just everything. When you play against a guy like that who just brings it every single day, whether it's in the game or in practice, I mean, what is that like? Um, kind of tiring. I mean, he's like full of throttle everywhere. So, I mean, other than that. It's a challenge I'm willing to take, and I like doing it. So, anything else? So now that the now that the schedule opens up for you a little bit, because um, so you're talking last week about six games in 14 days, with the schedule opening up, what are some of the things that you want to work on? Having five days until Georgia Southern, and another five to see in after that. Oh, we got to get them off a day. So, I mean, we'll, we'll, we've got exams next week too. So, I, that, those things tweak a little bit, but. It'll be good to work on us. We've been spending a lot of time preparing for other teams. Now this will give us a chance tomorrow to uh, refine something. Like I said, it'll be also good to have a full roster to practice. It'll be fun to, uh, you know, the poor post guys, they've been out there and they haven't had any subs. But Mark and Ricky haven't been out. Now all of a sudden it's Meech and, and whoever he's partnered with against, you know, if it's him and Trey, it's against Kevin and Ray. And, and now they didn't have a sub. It'll be good. I think it'll... It'll help practice. Like last year, about this time, we started getting better because we were able to practice some. So hopefully the same thing will be this year if we get some reps in. When you look in the mirror and kind of self-scout, what do you see? I think the 
bad news is I think we got we have a bunch of things we have to work on. The good news is we got a pretty high ceiling. I think most of those are good. Things.